Uh, I, I want to start with my, my first question, if I could, with respect to electricity uh, grid resilience, uh, uh, with uh, directing that to, to you, Mr. Yonker. Did you feel up to it? All right, good. I, uh, the, uh, as we all know, the climate change is affecting just about every aspect of the electric grid uh, in all parts of our country from uh, generation, including transmission, uh, distribution, to, uh, to also include demand for electricity. The electricity sector currently accounts, I'm told, for about 27% of total uh, US greenhouse gas emissions, about another 25% is from uh, power plants, another all up 22, 23% comes from industrial operations. Think of cement uh, plants, for example. But uh, uh, as we saw with, uh, with the uh, Texas power grid failure, people too often try to blame uh, renewables for not performing during an extreme weather event. But uh, the, the real truth is that all, all energy uh, sources, and that includes natural gas, includes coal, and, uh, and wind are vulnerable if not properly weatherized or made uh, resilient for catastrophic uh, climate events. My question, uh, Mr. Yonker, would, would be this. Uh, do you agree that wind turbines and other sources of renewable energy can generate the power in cold weather without problems if the proper resiliency measures are taken? And clean energy does not necessarily mean unreliable energy. You want to take a, a shot at that? I agree that clean energy does not necessarily mean reliable energy. I think, like I said in my advanced forecasting remarks, the com computational power is letting us have a new wave of capabilities to forecast and almost dispatch these variable resources. And when you pair them with additional assets like a battery that give you multiple hours of flexibility, it, it, it becomes in many ways with expectations for, you know, short term forecasts, uh, you know, a much higher capacity resource. So I agree with that. All right, good. Uh, just a, a follow up question. Do you agree that if resiliency measures are that adequately account for the impact of climate change are not taken, every, every source of energy can be vulnerable to extreme weather events uh, like the crisis we saw and we've just been talking about here uh, in Texas earlier this year? Texas was. Texas, sorry for the interruption. Texas was not the failure of a single uh, generation supply. It was a uh, failure of advanced planning for an extreme event. And so it had cascading failures. So, yes, I agree. All right. Thank you.